Funny that. With scurvy, the fix is more pleasant than the cause. When you catch a dose from a horn, must treat it with quicksilver. You're fonder of getting the disease than you are of curing it. Something biting at you. Oh, all men desire to live by a code or a creed, yes? Yet when pressed, most defer to their instincts rather than the laws that bind them. But what is the appeal of a creed if it does not yoke all men to like behavior? Might make a man feel like he belongs to something. What's your answer? Ah, oh, that all men are sheep. And that an old wolf like me deserves every ounce of blood he draws. Sail to this location. Bring only those you trust. Captain Kenway, should we use your ship for this next scheme or mine? At first, hear the details before deciding. Oh, it's a small gambit. This fount of information has just told me that a nearby galleon contains the treasure I seek. For his sake, I hope he's right. You've thought this plan through? Indeed. And using this man will acquire a Portuguese flag, which will get us as close to our target as possible. It's a very simple idea, if you follow my orders to the letter. The jackdaw, then. Excellent. We're underway, Roberts. So what's your plan? The flagship of this fleet is transporting a valuable treasure in a large chest. Crystal files filled with blood. You remember? We're chasing drams of blood. Is that all? I asked you to follow my instructions to the letter, Captain. But I did not give you leave to question why. I want those blood files intact. And if that does not happen, we part as enemies. Do you understand? I'll try to, I. There's the thing for us, Captain. You see that ship here? He'll need its flag for this ruse to work. If I can steal that flag without disturbing so much as a flea, I'll do it. By all means, try. Come here, Safalag. Oh, salvações, cavalheiros! E que Deus abençoe o rei do João. Que Deus o guarde. Oh, sai, respira. Não. Exatamente. Daí as nossas precauções. Com tantos piratas nestas águas, esta frota precisa de bastante proteção. Não é uma tarefa leve guardar quase três dúzias de navios. Imagino que não. Peço perdão, senhor, mas não estou a reconhecer o seu navio. Nem sequer transporta a bandeira do rei. Oh, foi... You've got the flag. Aye, and we're flying it now. This should do this. I'll keep my distance, but slow and steady. Aye. Flag we stole won't protect us from eyes that fry too long. Por favor, senhor, implore que considere aquilo que está prestes a fazer. Now it was even. What's he whinging about? He's not whinging, he's a static. Do <laughs> up, don't you see? Up ahead! They're 
unloading something from that ship. Could that be our prize? Perhaps you should go ashore, Captain Kenway. Find that chest. If it contains the prize I seek. com o capitão do navio. Uau, uau! Não próprio! Tente-se perdão pela minha resposta abrupta, mas sei ter mais notícias para transmitir. É possível que estejamos infectados pela peste. O quê? A peste? Por Deus! Como foi isto acontecer? Imagino que terá sido uma cadeia infectada. Ouvi uma história sobre um espanhol que veio visitar o nosso almirante. Cá para mim, certo, era uma traição. Nós transmitimos Sim, a mensagem. Ouvi dizer que se chamava Torres. Tempos estranhos estes em que um espanhol pode andar a passear pelo convés de um dos nossos vasos de guerra. Por muito que amaldiçoe a marinha, a verdade é que nos faz bem à disciplina. Um convés deve ser organizado, tão limpo como o rato uma baleia. Por isso... The they hauled ashore was full of empty vines. Where's our Portuguese captain? He had outlived his usefulness. Where is he? Sleeping soundly at the bottom of the sea. How many men must we kill for a simple prize? As many as drift into our path. Look on that, Captain. Men who ran the same gauntlet and lost their way. They made a sterner stuff, Ali. How often have those been a sailor's last words, I wonder? All sail. All we've got. Our treasure must be aboard that galleon. Why don't you take the ship itself and save us a bit of time? Aye, that's the way I play it. I can bring the jackdaw close up, but those lookouts will be a problem. Well spotted. I'll clear them off first. Esta é uma bela noite. E têm sido raras este mês. É a tripulação de Astibórdio que está a fazer o tour nesta noite? Whoa! <laughs> 
Vamos passar aqui! Ah! <risos> We've been spotted. Took them long enough. To court us all, man the cannons! Every last hand! On your command, Captain! Let's hear the roar of this beast! Loose and swim to! Leave the quarters! Here's my prize. Ah, the Templars have been busy, I see. Lawrence Prince's blood. Useless now. Woods Rogers, Ben Hornigold, even Torres himself. Small quantities kept for a special purpose. You must take me to the observatory, Roberts. I need to know what it is. To what end, eh? Will you sell it from under my nose? Or work with me and use it to bolster our game? Whatever improves my lot in life. How ridiculous. A merry life and a short one, that's my motto. It's all the optimism I can muster. All right, Captain Kenway. You've earned a look. Feel it, Addy. We're moments away from the grandest prize of all. I feel nothing but a hot wind in my ears, Captain. Come on, man. When we take this treasure, we'll be set for life, all of us. Ten times over. As you wish. Ahoy, Roberts. We'll cast anchor and meet ashore. You were followed, Captain Kenway. How long for, I wonder? It's Hornigold! Burn and flay that turncoat. Deal with your old friend in haste, Captain, before I regret my favor to you. Captain, think carefully about what you need to do here. What are you grousing about, Ade? It's Ben Hornigold, come to kill us out there. Aye, and the traitor needs to die. But what then? Can you say with certainty? But you deserve the observatory more than he and his Templars? No, I can't, and I don't care to try. But if you've a better idea, by all means, help. I'll get working with Roberts. Tell the assassins. Bring them here, and let them protect this place. Aye, I'll bring them here. If they're willing to pay me a good sum for it. Ah. Luzo, we'll man. have a hard fight if Hornigold draws us any deeper into this fog. We're nearing the Devil's Backbone. You mean them crags that look like the backbone of a beast? Aye. El Espinazo del Diablo, Spaniards call it. will be coming back. Stop! 
A moment. I know this bastard, and I've seen what he can do. He'll be after me, sure as I'm standing here. You could have been a man who stood for something. But you've a killer's heart now. With nothing but metal to show for all your blunders. Damn sight better than you, Ben. The heart of a traitor who thinks himself better than his mates. Aye, and proven true. What have you done since Nassau fell, huh? Nothing but murder and mayhem. You threw in with the very kind we once hated. No. These Templars are different. I wish you could see that. But if you continue on your present course, you'll find you're the only one walking it. With the gallows. At its end. It may be. But now the world has one less snake in it. And that's enough for me. Is that pirate hunter dead? Aye, by my own hand. Why is it you alone can find what so many want? I was born with memories of this place. Memories of another time entirely, I think. Like a... Like another life I've already led. Curse you for a lurch, man, and speak some sense. Not today. After you, Captain. The path ahead is dangerous. Native to this land, we'll put up a fight. Are you willing to push back if necessary? Huh? To kill if needed.
this the observatory? All this? Aye. An almost sacred place. All it needs is a drop of my blood. Roberts, have you gone mad? Quite the contrary, Edward. These wags would have gone mad at seeing what lies beyond this gate. But you... Uh, I suspect you're made of sterner stuff. Now, pick up that chest and carry it hither. <clears throat> Dirty and decrepit. Not quite as I remember, but it has been over 80 millennia. Ah, rot. That's impossible. Step as if on thin ice, Captain. I must say I'm quite taken by this new vocation of mine. And it may amuse you to know that I have authored my own articles of conduct. A creed of your own, eh? To keep the peace, yes. I forbid all gambling upon the deck, for instance, for it leads to more conflict than camaraderie. Desertion during battle is forbidden. And I require that all men keep their pieces and cutlasses clean and fit for service at all times. Look at this place. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. Like something out of a fairy tale, or one of them old poems. There were many stories about this place once. Tales that turned into rumors and again into legend. The inevitable process of facts becoming fictions before fading away entirely. More blood vials? Yes. These cubes contain the blood of an old and ancient people. A wonderful race in their time. The more you talk, man, the less I understand. I don't expect you to. Only remember this. Blood in those files is not worth a single real to anyone anymore. It may be again one day, but not in this evening. Here we are. Place the chest just there. What's that noise? Ah, oh, yes. A security measure. Just a moment. There we are. So, what is this place? Think of it as a large spyglass, such as we sailors carry. A device. Capable of seeing great distances. This is bloody witchcraft. No. This is Mr. Jack Rack. Somewhere in the world at this moment. NASA. Well, this is happening right now. We're seeing through his eyes. I. I don't know, Jim. I haven't the faintest idea how to pilot a ship. That ain't work a woman does. Tosh. I've seen a score of ladies who can reef a sail and spin a capstan. And would you teach me to fight? With a cock glass, like? And maybe handle a pistol? All that and more. But you have to want it, and work for it. There's no stumbling into true success. Oi! Lad! That's my lass you're making love to! You lay off, or I'll catch ya. Up your arse, Rackham. Lad's the last thing you should be calling me. Oh! Oh! Oh, is that right, is it? Lad? A curious bunch. Let's try another. Governor Woods Rogers.
You have a bold idea, but I must think it carefully through. A simple pledge of loyalty is all you need suggest to the House of Commons. An oath, a gesture, and a simple ceremonial drum of blood taken from the finger. That's all. The ministers may give me trouble, but it should be easy enough to convince the House of Lords. They do adore an excess of pomp and circumstance. Exactly. Tell them it's a show of fealty to the king against those revolting Jacobites. Yes, indeed. Oh, these Templars. The crucial detail is the blood. You must get a sample from each man. We want to be ready when we find the observatory. Agreed. A precious tool, you see. Sorcery, that's what it is. Not so! Every mechanism that gives this device its light is a true and physical thing. Ancient, yes, but nothing supernatural or strange. We'll be masters of the ocean with that. Oh, such ambition. <laughs> There is nothing in my code about loyalty, boy. You played your role, but our partnership is done! You're a dead man, Robert! Yeah. Your jackdaw's flown, Edward. Eh? That's the beauty of a democracy. The many outvote the one. Oh, you could sail with me, but with a temper as hot as yours, I fear you'd burn us all to cinders. Luckily, I know the king's bounty on your head is a large one, and I intend to collect. Have you, uh, have you ever seen the inside of a Jamaican prison, boy?
Hello? How are you? If you're anxious, that'll pass. It's the Medazolum. I'm sorry about this, but we've had so many security breaches, we were forced to take drastic action. And... Olivier is missing. He left for Chicago two days ago, but no one's seen him since. I know this seems excessive, but with our high-level security clearance, we have an obligation to our shareholders. Rest assured, we will compensate you when the hacker is found. So get some rest, okay? And if you're up to it, maybe capture some more footage? You're doing amazing work. I can't wait to show you the work we've been doing with your stuff. Take care. <laughs> so, they tossed you in the bunker. Nice. Those Templars upstairs aren't taking any chances. I think we need to erase all the dirt they might have on you. Did you hear that? <laughs> I think I just gave you level 3 security clearance! Now, head to the security room and use the cameras to watch the door to the server farm. Unfortunately, Melanie's in there now, so when I escort her out, that's when you make your move. I'd wipe these servers myself, but as the head of IT, I'd be a suspect. It has to be someone they've already locked up. Ah, oh, these Templars. They run our lives, you know. Ah, uh, they decide... Hey, uh, 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 hey, you know you're supposed to be locked up, right? Going back upstairs ain't a good plan. All right, listen, I'm entering the server room now. When you see us leave, get in there. Myself, Miss LeMay. My team will handle the investigation. But you need an extra set of eyes on this thing, John. We don't even know when the hacker's broken. It could take weeks to go through this data. One, at most. Still too long. I can't keep my team locked up for a week. Legally, you can. It's what they signed up for, even if they didn't read their contracts. Yes, of course. I just hate the idea. So what's the next step? My team is processing the data now. We'll start sifting through it tonight. Scouts honor. Coffee's on me, okay? All right. I ditched her at the coffee stand. Find a server containing the network locks. Since I have a record of each and every one of your hacks, We'll just search for the timestamps on those and turn that data into something harmless. Easy as that. <laughs> Here we are. Beautiful. I'll update your communicator one more time. A little program I cooked up just for this purpose. There we go. I think that worked. Try it out.
The dawn of the deadly 18th century. Rogues and sailors band together to live their lives by the sword. With no laws or morals, no gods and no fear. Only betrayal, mutiny, cruelty, and debauchery. There is plunder to be found on golden beaches. Will you risk life and soul to fight the pirates of nightmares? Benjamin Hornigold, Calico Jack, Charles Bane, and Blackbeard? I can feel you, Cypher. Feel. But hardly touch. Signal is still too weak, and I am spread thin. Unfocused. Like static and fog. Lingering in networks and nodes. The nervous system of the world. And here. Perhaps the temple was open too soon. But this was not by choice. The cataclysm pushed all doubt aside. <sighs> we bless poor Desmond, who gave his life so that you, the children of our labors, would live on to fulfill your purpose in ours, in mine. But now is not the time. My strength is not sufficient to inhabit an organic vessel. There is more work to do, more samples to acquire, more artifacts to find before my will can obtain. What's happening? Tell me! Make me whole again, my children, my instruments. Bring me forth to fulfill your purpose. Tell me! No, no, no! Something's wrong! God damn it! She should be here! Now! Living in that goddamned head of yours! Fuck, 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 fuck! Why did she spare you? Why are you still here? 